Hi folks, so for today's video I am going to be talking a little bit about Zubuntu 19.04. Now that is the distribution that uses Ubuntu as the base but XFCE as the desktop and I really like Ubuntu as the base and I really like XFCE as a desktop environment. I've been running it on my Entraware laptop which is uh, a laptop that is made up pretty much of entry-level hardware for the most part so it's a good laptop to test distributions on and um, yeah the last distribution I tested on it was vanilla Ubuntu and as much as I enjoyed using that distribution uh, I did feel that the known desktop in general is a little heavy for, th for this machine um, so I do look to other desktop environments and I decided to give XFCE uh, or more specifically Zubuntu a whirl and I must say uh, I've had a pretty wonderful time. Now this review can really pretty much end there that it's a great distribution like if you know what you're in for for XFCE and you know what you're in for for, for Ubuntu then Zubuntu is pretty self-explanatory um, by, by name alone almost at, at that point. So um, and it, and it probably does fall in line with a lot of my previous XFCE Zubuntu reviews in that it's a wonderful distribution and it runs effectively. You can customize it. It looks good if you're willing to, you know, theme it a little bit. In fact, the default theme for with um, with Zubuntu, it's pretty good. Um, it's Corebird, I think it is. Um, but interestingly enough, if we go to the... Uh, settings down here, I think, yeah, you can choose Numix. Um, I, won't, I won't mess around with the themes because sometimes you don't always get the best uh, theme switch. Oops, sorry, I knocked the mic there. You don't get to, you know, sometimes switching the themes can be a bit janky if you don't uh, log out and log back in again. Um, sometimes, like, windows need to be redrawn and all that kind of stuff with themes. But anyway, that aside, um, it's, yeah, customizable, it's themable, it runs light, it looks nice. Uh, it has this, um, like, the st stuff in it as well, like the file manager, for example, like the Thunar file manager, it sort of behaves like I expect, like it doesn't use, uh, you know, like it doesn't have too many bells and whistles that you're, you're not ever going to need. And if you do need a bell or a whistle, then there's plenty of, of choice in the uh, in the um, app repositories as well. One of the things I have noticed about this version of Ubuntu-based distributions is that their repositories have added quite a few things, it seems, so, um, so that's all pretty good. And of course, uh, nowadays we live in the world of flat pack and snaps and app images so uh, if there isn't a piece of software available for your distribution I actually find the flat hub store to be pretty um, uh, pretty comprehensive this uh, uh, this time now you've got the whisker menu with the XFCE that's always uh, 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 always works for me as well that's always a nice menu my I think probably my favorite menu out of all of the menus in all of the desktop environments for the most part. Um, the only, uh, and I don't really customize it that much. I haven't customized it on the laptop that much. Um, partly because when you're in XFCE mode, you're in a very practical, pragmatic state of mind, I always feel. You know, where the, you just want to get stuff done. And XFCE is great for that. The default layout, the default settings in um, Zubuntu are great. Uh, but the only thing that I do change about it is I unlock it and I just drag it down to the bottom here there we go and then just lock that part just so that it is a little bit Windows-esque because XFCE it does strike me as being a little bit like Windows 7 or that takes the best parts of Windows 7 uh, specifically uh, and you can you can customize this whisker menu quite a, a fair bit as well you can have the categories on the left hand side which I tend to prefer but I'm not going to get into the um, uh, the the details on, on on that because again like when it comes to customizing XFCE really easy to do really straightforward to do and in fact their uh, control panel I mean it's very straightforward very straightforward very easy to to work out all that kind of stuff so yeah you know like it's it's it, it, this is not going to be a particularly riveting review because XFCE has been the same uh, desktop environment for the most part for like over ten years. You know, and it's done it well. And I've been using, I, I remember using uh, XFCE back in like 06 and it still being good back then. Um, in fact, I think as Ubuntu was like, it was the first Ubuntu based distribution that I was running for any length of time. Uh, like I, I remember, I started off on like Red Hat, and then I, I think I meandered to no, then no, then I, then I, then I went to to as Ubuntu as well. I think I might have took a, a moment on on Ubuntu, and then realizing that there's a more lighter, um, you know, Zubuntu that is also you know something that I enjoy and quite like using as well. I decided to to, uh, to give it a spin, and uh, yeah, I used that for a uh, for a, for a pretty long 
uh, for a pretty long time at, at university as well. It was one of my earlier distributions. So, yeah, it's re um, it, it's a distribution that. Uh, uh, all right, let's do a let's do a. But yeah, it ticks all of the boxes that I like, and I know that's not necessarily particularly helpful for a lot of people with boxes that are in different shapes to my own. But uh, um, let's try and. Oh, we can just maximize it there. There we go. So let's have a look at some of the backgrounds here. Um, oh, I've seen this one before, I think. Oh, that looks nice. I like that one. Got the sunset. Oh, that tree's pretty nice. Oh, that tree's real nice, yeah. So, yeah, it comes with a, it comes with a handful of good backgrounds. I like the, that, that eerie um, uh, rail, um, railway track is, is amazing. Uh, so, um, yeah, I can't actually think of anything negative to say or any any any, any negative criticism towards uh, Zubuntu at this stage. I mean, um, they've been putting the you know the Zubuntu team have been doing this for a while now, so they're pretty good at it. Um, but if you want a distribution that isn't rolling release, that has a good community uh, behind it, that um, has a straightforward fast running desktop as well i run uh, i install mx linux on on a lot of laptops that i'm trying to fix up for friends and family and all that kind of stuff and that uses the xfce desktop as well so the xfce desktop is you know like clearly uh clearly a good choice when it comes to to keeping things light um it's certainly uh done well by me and it's certainly uh done well to a lot of people i know who have used it as well i like it on its stylistic merits as well i find it has a nice consistent layout i you know i'm not too much of a fan of where gtk3 is is moving around a lot of the buttons they put buttons at the top where you'd expect them to be at the bottom of a window and all this kind of stuff and i do feel that um as well like it has a more like it it, it sort of respects the more traditional layouts and paradigms of, of ui for example uh, having the file edit view menu like I love these th this menu I don't know why these menus are going out of fashion they can contain so many more options that are quick to access um, rather than just have some you know like a, a dashboard of hieroglyphics no you can you can have you know text descriptors and and, and things like that um, the yeah the network manager worked all right um, all this kind of stuff so I really wish I had more to say about it uh, I, this is installed with the default software selection, and it comes, uh, so I believe it comes. I, you know what? I don't actually even use the store that much. I just go straight to the command line these days. Yeah, we've got the GNOME, um, we've got the GNOME store here, just waiting for it to uh, become populated. So you've got a lot of options when it comes to uh, your, you know, like, like, software installation uh, setup or what have you. So you can feel quite comfortable installing the, 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 um, yeah, you can feel feel comfort, uh, comfortable installing any software that isn't included with the distribution. I'm sure most of you guys already know this. Uh, what's the mail reader that's uh, that's included by default? Oh, so we have Thunderbird here. Ah, okay. Interesting stuff. I'm always a little bit surprised when uh, when I see distros still bundle uh, with Thunderbird, but um, you know, in in the sense that just like uh, uh, webmail um, access has become so much more popular these days, but. Uh, there we go. If you're if you're a Thunderbird fan, or if you prefer Elementary, in, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be interested to, uh, to to find out your thoughts there, guys. I still I just use the web UI on uh, on Postio. So, comes with um, Firefox as its uh, as its default browser. Um, it comes with Pigeon Instant Messenger. That's nice. That it comes with an instant messenger. Uh, it comes with uh, the GNU image manip manipulation program, GIMP, which is quite good. Uh, it comes with Simple Scan, um, the Pro Media pay pay Player. Uh, didn't have much use for that because I usually just uh, install MPV and that does the trick. But yeah, so uh, rather than blithering on, I think I've used up uh, enough of your time, folks. Um, but yeah, Zubuntu. Um, 1904. It's it's wonderful. Like I haven't got a word to say against it. I've been using it on the laptop, and in all fairness, guys, you're probably not going to see uh, a distro re review from me uh, too soon because I'm probably going to be keeping Zubuntu on the laptop. Um, so um, it's it's great distribution. I did consider about using Manjaro XFCE, but I just did a, uh, an upgrade before doing this video, and it was 800 megabytes, which is like that's a pretty hefty upgrade. <laughs> Doing that with two devices is quite a lot, um, despite the fact that my Manjaro installation has never failed on me. So, um, but 
and also if if Zubuntu twenty oh four turns out to be as good as I'm predicting, there's a good chance that I might just leave the 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 um twenty twenty LTS on there. So like I say, if you like XFCE, then I can I can definitely recommend it. And that's the thing about Ubuntu is that um you know, you you're picking a distribution and you're picking a desktop environment, right? With Ubuntu, you get the best of both worlds. Like Ubuntu, it is a good distribution, right? I know that some people like to 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 pick on the big guy. I mean, it's human nature and, and the internet all over. But it has done a lot for the Linux desktop, um, and and it puts together a good distribution. Now, I don't think Ubuntu have ever used a desktop, a vanilla desktop, that has been my first choice. Uh, I suppose you could argue that, that Mate is a desktop that I would put almost on a par with, with XFCE with some some slight, uh, you know, pedantic differences. But um, but whenever Ubuntu, uh, whenever Ubuntu was using it, it was always GNOME. So, I've you know, the GNOME desktop has never been the one that I always, pr that I primarily go to. It hasn't been for a long time, nor was the, was the Unity desktop. So I've always been in the mindset that the, uh, the, the Ubuntu family um you know like are, are just as much primary options as, as vanilla ubuntu itself so when a new ubuntu comes out you know unless i'm reviewing a distribution for you guys um i, I probably won't even be that interested like i'll be more interested in ubuntu mate zubuntu lubuntu um because they're the desktop environments i like and it's all running on the same uh software technology that the canonical and ubuntu put together so Absolutely wonderful. Like, um, you know, whether or not whether or not Ubuntu can serve your your technical needs, and whether or not a particular desktop environment can solve your uh, your particular technical needs, um, you know, they're they're sort of uh, they're they're two different you know aspects. And uh, and Ubuntu and and the Ubuntu distributions largely have you covered. I would like to see an Ubuntu Cinnamon, but Cinnamon is one of the heavier desktops, so you know maybe maybe it's something that we could uh, we could learn to live without and and linux mint and linux mint cinnamon that's a great distribution too so anyway zubuntu 1904 wonderful job um i really like these six monthly releases from uh from like zubuntu lubuntu uh what have you um but this one is just great it's the, it's the distribution that does what you want it to do and no more um, it's pragmatic, it's practical, it's lightweight, it looks good, there's plenty of themes available for it, it's stable. Uh, I know that some people often like to switch out their XFCE window manager for like Compton or something. I've never have, never caused me a problem. Every time you see me stream on Twitch, um, I'm, I'm streaming on, um, for the most part, at least certainly recently, I've been streaming from an XFCE desktop, um, and it's, it's, it's always been reliable, so good, good, uh, great project. Love it. So, um, thank you, Zubuntu team, if you happen to be watching this. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for using something, or thank you for making something that I find exceedingly useful and a joy to use. And um, uh, and I, I really mean that. So, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, don't forget you can also catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chris Ware. Um, a link to it is almost always on the channel page um, or on my website or wherever, probably in the description below as well. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. As always, it's been a pleasure to use Ubuntu. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.